Hey guys, is here with another video. Today, we are going to be playing a video. I mean, playing a game I've been meaning to do for quite some time now. I'm using my tired voice, but it might also help my narrator voice. So I'm hoping that's where I'm going to get at with this game. Now, I've been meaning to do this game for quite some time now because it is one of my favorites. It's got such a good storyline, but it takes forever. So. Please excuse how long this video might be, I will try to cut it down where I can, but otherwise it's just... There's nothing I can do. So, without further ado, let's get into it. October 12th, 1991. Please hurry up! That was the last thing my old friend Anthony wrote in his letter. I hadn't heard anything from him for a long time. In fact, since we left the university. Something serious might have, must have happened. I left the town and took the first train that morning to Sussex. It was very difficult to find the house on that dark night. I finally arrived. Can it, dog? Prologue. The silence. How strange. The door is already open. But it seems nobody's here. Oh, a letter. I can see a note on the floor. I should pick it up and read it. Oh, go do that then instead of talking. The note says, Please forgive me. Oh no. Please forgive me. Anna. I don't know what this note is talking about. I'm worried about Anthony. I should find him. I don't think you want to do that. I'm still in my traveling clothes. I should get more comfortable before going further. What happened here? I have the feeling that something terrible happened in this house. I hope my friend is alright. Almighty God, what is this? Um, murder. If you can't read. Oh, murderer. Oh, Lord. I think I know where to go. Not in here. As soon as we exit out, something's gonna happen. No? Um, boy, whoa. The lantern has gone out! Run out of oil. I guess we just. But. Please. Hurry. Up. The last door. You know what? That was only the prologue, so I'm going to give you guys a double feature. Just hold on a sec. I got y'all. Pausing now. Okay, continuing on. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> After all the things I've seen. After all the things I've done. <sighs> I already know this is where this is going. My life is blah blah blah. I didn't read that enough. Oops. <laughs> it's too late. For me now. I just hope you could forgive me someday. Yours sincerely. Anthony Beechworth. Oh. The 
last door. Of course, we've already established this. <laughs> this is the prologue going into the next episode, so that was probably not... Like... The credits... For the music, on screen right there, Carlos Viola. Good job, my boy. I sort of have a thing for opera music, <coughs> you know, orchestrated. Anyway, October 18, 1991. Vedette Nakis Seat. That's the only thing my dear old friend Anthony Beechworth wrote in this letter. It had been many years since I last heard that sentence. It used to be the motto of the science and philosophy group that we secretly ran back. We were in that secluded boarding school in Scotland. We lived it all behind, like simple childhood memories. But it was unusual. That letter can only mean something awful must have happened. Also, I just realized this is slightly not off center and it's really bugging me. I'm sorry. <laughs> something that must remain absolutely secret. I had to find out what was going on. Yes, I'm going to be doing the full episode, so uh, yeah, get ready for a long one. <laughs> Without delay, I took the first morning train to Sussex to address on this letter. I thought you did that in the prologue. <laughs> And that was the old home of Anthony's family, the Beechworth Mansion. It's a, it's a nice place, I guess. Chapter one, the letter. So I'm gonna get right to it. I think I remember where most things are. I hope. This is weird. Everything is silent. It's like there's no one living here. I'm worried about Anthony. I have to find him. So let me see what I can do away with here. First letter. I know it on the tape. Dear Mr. Beechworth, due to the recent events, the situation has become unbearable for us, and much to our regret, we have no other choice but to leave. We will remain forever ungrateful for all these years at your service. God bless you, Mr. and Mrs. Brower. Well, you know how at all. Encounter with glasses and crystal bottles and matchbox. Come phone, it looks rusty. Fireplace looks like it hasn't been cleaned in a long time. Large window is up, wide open, letting the cold dusk air in. It's gonna let something else in, probably. Something we don't want to know. Crooked painting. Knock it down. I already see this one. Fix this stupid. I broke it. No rosary, but the solid wood crystals. Take it, damn it. Let's get painting. A small plant brings some life into this place. Yes, it does. A lamp, it will come in handy. Yes, it will. Master made us get rid of our religious subjects. What is going on with it? Luckily, I found a place to hide my rosary. I can't pray every night for that. Master has been complaining about Alfie. What was simple cat to do with him? He ordered us to keep him out of the house at all times. Still, I can't let that poor thing starve. He's such a clever cat. Every time I open the window, he knows food's waiting for him. Anyway, I'm worried about the master. He's grown more and more unlike himself every day. Mr. Birchworth is spending whole days locked inside his office. He wants us to leave him food at the door. He barely eats anything. I'm really worried. Oh yeah, that was what I just... What I just read. No. I broke it. <laughs> Nothing of interest in these drawers. I broke it. Here, put that rosary in there. The rosary keeps keep the window open. Empty bowl, like the ones you used to feed a pet. Well, it's empty, so... 
That cat hasn't come yet. I think we gotta fill the bowl or something. I'm not gonna worry about it. <laughs> Padlocked. Okay, I won't worry about this too much. It's also, it's also a detective game, so I want to make sure I get everything carefully. Or as carefully as I can. Kitchen stove is in the cleaning cloth. We'll get the cloth. Bits of pants. Play with some day old day old leftovers. The day old so it must have recently happened. I locked the door. With what key? Eee. Murder of crows is eagerly eating something. Yeah, they're murdering something, all right. I mean, I know that's what the. Never mind. I'll shut up. Stuff to your head. Probably could like tell him some way to hurry up. I need to like this stupid. Man, nothing out here. That's right. Shut up. Shut up. Just me jump cutting. You shut up too. Okay. I think I can take it from here. I can finally make things interesting. Someone plants with them. Yeah. I don't want to burn it down either, so. <laughs> yeah. Go on the first door. I know it's unlocked. I think I remember a key to take. Now that's for some door, but I'm not gonna... So many portraits. The windows lead to the balcony that communicates with the adjacent room. Can open the hatch and stuff, perhaps I can force it open with a small tool. Fireplace doesn't need a long time. Light it. <laughs> Don't need to light it, probably, damn it. <laughs> but I think I know what that key's for. The couple doors that is not next to this, okay? I have ideas. He doesn't fit the lock. <gasps> it's for that padlock. It's for the padlock. It's for the padlock. I know it. It's for the padlock. I'm gonna keep saying it. It's for the padlock. Open the frickin' door. We know this. Open the goddamn door. Cause that's padlocked, but I don't know if I can. Son of a! It wouldn't work before. Okay. Anyway, what's that? A slate record titled "The Carnival of Venice." Ooh. Pick up. Listen to that. I'm gonna explore deeper. Some firewood. That would be handy if I was trying to start a fire. An iron crowbar. Take the crowbar. Well, it looks like it's been out of use for a long time. Yeah, we're probably not gonna need it now. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Now I can start figuring stuff out. Yes. Oh, take that stupid record. Now, to work with us. Uh, got a couple things I can do now. Yes! I'm excited about all of this now. Right, first, let's pop this record in. See what it sounds like. Carlos, let's see what you popped out for us. Now there's a record on the ground phone. Play it, play it, play it, play it, play it, play it, play it! I'm excited!
the hell? I was enjoying that. Never mind, bro. You can get that off. Never mind. I'm not. I'm not gonna contest this against it anymore. Never mind, bro. We're good here. Yep. We're, we're just we're all good. We're all good. Yep. Let's let's pry this open with crowbar. Let's go play something just now. Well done. Now go to hell in. For God's sake, what happened here? Leave me alone. There's three letters. It's a letter. Dear Margaret, it's been days since Anthony left his office. I can hear him whisper angrily, frightfully, and it gets worse at night. Our servants left a few days ago without their help and care. I'm lost. I can barely walk out of bed. Not even a doctor would come here after his argument with Anthony. He has developed this horrible ability to break anyone's will. I don't know what to do. I don't have any strength left. I wish I could just send you this letter, your dear friend. That must have been her. Left this body of woman that's been here for a few days. Looks like she's clutching a note in her hand. Well, read it, damn it. I'm writing what will surely be my final thoughts. My last lines, my last breath. I don't know what kind of dark power has turned my husband into what he is now. A stranger with a look. Oh my god. Birth of all sanity. Compassion and human warmth. I don't know what sh shadow that slowly darkened our lives. I don't know what this foreign host that now dwell in our souls. I don't know where it's from, but I'm sure it is not from this world. I will meet my brothers and sisters soon. I will be free from this abyss of badness and fear. Soon, I will stop trembling. What the hell is that? A hairpin. That might be able to help us with that one door. An old wheelchair. Nothing but just in this dressing table. Well, why not? A letter and a feeble handwriting. I can't go on. I was lost. What's this one? It's a diary page. Ooh. I can't stand their stairs. They watch me. They judge me. They despise me. I know they think I'm not worthy of this family. Who are they but dust and bones? A memory. Leave me. I don't need you. Leave me alone! A woman holding baby. She looks happy. An adult woman, she looks really pale. An old, fair looking man. His gaze on self me. Teenage girl. She's a sad face. A woman of an Anthony's relatives. A portrait of Anthony with a stuffed lynx. Looks like he's very proud. This valued animal. This paint puts pressure around the lynx's head. What is that? There's a crow behind the window. It looks like it's trying to get in. He's still trying to get in. Okay. They're going at me, just like I remember him. Anyway, I leave now. Got it. I managed to open the latch. Alright. Oh, that's that Lynx. Looks like the one in Anthony's portrait. Some sort of spilled chemical product. Wipe it up, damn it. Kind of thinner. We'll take it. Remains of chemical experiments. What's this? A few press cuttings pinned to the wall. The Illustrated London News, 1887. Judge kills himself under strange circumstances. The Daily Telegraph, 1888. Earl found dead, floating in the Thames. The Times, 1889. Famous actor found bled to death in his hotel. Some strange books. They're written in a language I don't know. Probably like Greek or something. The huge reinforced metal trap door. There's a golden keyhole. Common hammer. In good condition. Don't grab it, dumbass. 
If the one in the room is padlocked, I'll break it. Some torn out pages. They won't bother me anymore. I'm done with their investigations, their whispers. It's all ready. There's one thing left to do. Oh my god. The beginning of the suicide. I've unlocked the door. Well, good. Get your ass out. That's that one I came out of. Door will not open if I pour thinner on it. They open the cloth with thinner. It's a wet cloth now. Anyway. Maybe. I can try again to clean up the chemical mess. But it fails. Okay, never mind then. But I think that hammer is definitely going to be so I can break that padlock. Because that would, yes, be bending the rules a little bit, but... Let's just hope the little crows aren't there anymore. They're still here! They're there! Oh, still here! <laughs> Every single one is still there. No, oh, the cat still has not come yet. I think it said that was the one with the padlock, so that makes no sense that it's open now. Wait a minute. Let me try something. There's a dying crow in this little pool of blood. And you're gonna take it, aren't you? You took it. Oh, I see. For the cat. Smart. What to do now? I heard cat meowing in the distance. <gasps> the cat took the. Where did the crew go? Let's try a butt from the bottom. I don't know. Break it! Hammer time! I don't know. Fine, how about thinner? Oh, wait, no. <gasps> I know where the cat is! Catch me on his ladder in here. Yeah, 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 I know what it is. There's a black cat, his eyes are missing. Oh, God, I finished flipping my eyes out. He's running to the darkness. It's an open chest with a dark cloak, a mask, and a knife. Only this knife can be useful. For what? So 
so clearly I am done with this room. Okay. I better leave it alone. <laughs> he learned after the first time. Smart man. The fresh paint around the lynx's head is gone, and now I can see the original paint. This lynx is different. Its mouth is open as if it was growling. Leave me alone. Who could have written such a thing? My man. It's got a key, doesn't it? I just get the lynx is about to open the tongue as well. There's a golden key inside! Open this. What now? Trap door is locked with the key. No shit, Sherlock. Go open it with the damn key. <gasps> God, no. Anthony, no! Left this body of my dear friend. This sealed letter in his pocket. Dear J. Devitt, if you're reading these lines, then I am nothing but a dead body hanging before you. I write you on my last shreds of lucidity. You can't possibly know how pleased I am knowing that you arrived on time. You were one of my oldest friends, and when I sent you the letter asking you to come here, I didn't doubt for one moment that you would have failed me this night, and it would be lost. I have found myself involved in a series of horrible incidents. For reasons beyond my comprehension, and sadly, I have become a total stranger to myself and to my closest relatives, capable of the most indescribable and atrocious things. I can't give you any more details now. I must ask you to go immediately back to the boarding school where we had made that pact. Where we all said that sense that would always protect us and swore with our honor before the other members. This letter must not reach anyone else, so I'd like you to destroy it immediately. The lives of the rest of the group and yours are in great danger. Do not delay. They are already waiting for you. Seeing as believing, Devitt, don't forget it. Always your loyal friend, Anthony Beechwood. Damn, that was a long and intense episode. But, uh, <laughs> just, just, damn. Oh, fuck, you cut off recording, didn't it? I know it didn't, okay. Um, sure. <laughs> Please be sure to leave a like on this video if you have enjoyed. Also, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Um, 
comment down below what you thought of the video. Also, I'm going to be doing all the episodes within time. I'm not going to rush this. I'm going to let this episode go up and let it sink in and whatnot. So, uh, yeah. But... Be sure to check out the links in the description below. And, uh, yeah. Stan Airlines, Jr. Pilots.